Hey. No, I can't talk right now. I'm going to start filming. Yeah, no, we're filming now. No, we're live. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got a regular old pre-made e-bike here. Oh wait, no, never mind. No, it's the opposite. Freaking killer custom-made e-bike. Made on a killer bike. So I'm gonna go over what bike this is, what we did to it, why it's just freaking awesome now. If you're new to this channel now, if you're new to this channel now, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I convert bikes into e-bikes. Way better e-bikes than you can buy for way less money. <laughs> so way, it's just a better bike and it's a cheaper bike. Why would you buy anything else? I don't know. Okay, you do what you wanna do. It's your money. Okay guys, this is a Trek Roscoe. Not to be confused with the Jewel Asco. That's a Chicago reference for you. This is a Trek Roscoe. These are mid-fat tires, front suspension with rock shocks, 27 and a half by 2.8. These are these are the best size tires. If you want if I, if I could be honest with you, these are the best size tires. They're just fat enough where they give you total comfort. You can ride in the snow in them, you can ride in mud and loose sand, but they're still it's still still agile it's still like it's not like super agile but it's still it's it's like the best of both worlds and it just takes road noise any imperfections just gobbles it up so yeah this is a really nice bike we put a bbs hd motor on it thousand watt motor put a lecky 42 tooth on it which is nice because it brought the chain line in i tried going with the stock chain ring it just kept jumping off this massive rear tooth rear cog this is a 12 speed cassette here guys 12 speeds i don't think i just think this might be my first 12 speed i've worked on it's just a massive gear ratio and honestly with the bbs hd you don't need that much gear ratio but i guess it's nice to have but look at the size of this thing this is probably more than a it's almost like a two to one ratio this is probably a 50 tooth i'm guessing 50 to 42. so this thing is going to be a really good hill climber as you'll see in the johnny nerd out hill climb fest top speed is still going to be good because the 42 tooth doesn't really rob from the top speed at all battery we went with a 52 volt 17 and a half amp hour put a gear shift sensor on it because it's a mid drive that just acts like an automatic clutch disengages the motor for a second while you're shifting gears and then re-engages automatically this has got hydraulic disc brake Brakes. So we put hydraulic brake cutoffs on it, just little magnetic sensors. So when it does this, it senses that you're braking. Got a throttle on it. Got a 500C color display. I really like this color display. It's really small, incognito, but it tells you all the information you need pretty much. All right, let's go take this bad boy for a ride for a Johnny Nerd Out test. And yeah, you can see this thing just, it hill climbed no problem. And with these fat tires, it's gonna be able to do that even up over loose gravel, rough terrain. This is a really cool bike. I think this, this build was about 1800 bucks, including labor. So you can't touch a pre-made e-bike with these specs. A bike that will do 35 miles an hour for 50 miles. Well, probably, it won't, probably won't do 50 miles at 35 miles an hour. This, at, at 30 miles an hour, this bike will probably do 25 miles because it's got a 918 watt hour battery at 52 volts. This thing will hill climb like anything. You just can't find a better value than this bike right here. It's a shame, they're, these pre-made bikes, what they're going for. Anyways, that's another, another topic for another video. But I hope you guys like this build. See you guys later.